Over the years, God has taken me on some pretty amazing mission trips where I got the opportunity to meet the needs of people not only spiritually, but also physically. From building homes, feeding the hungry, to praying for healing. And through these different trips, God actually opened my eyes to see things differently right where I lived. God showed me that yes, I am called to the ends of the earth to help those in need, but I'm also called to see those needs met right in my hometown. In 1993, Kevin Carter, a photographer for National Geographic, was on assignment in South Sudan and took a picture that would change his life forever. He saw a young starving child on the ground, bent over, not moving, when a vulture landed nearby and slowly crept up on the child, waiting for him to stop moving. Then Kevin took this disturbing picture. He came home and the New York Times posted it on the front page. He ended up winning a Pulitzer Prize, but soon after, there was a lot of backlash when the story came out that he actually watched this boy struggle for 20 minutes waiting on the vulture to get closer and spread his wings for the perfect picture. He said after the vulture stopped, he snapped the picture and scared the bird off, but he did nothing with the child. There was a lot of outrage and it haunted him the rest of his life. His eyes were closed to the injustice that was right in front of him and he did nothing. In the book of Matthew, one of Jesus' closest friends, we see Jesus make a statement on addressing injustice in our world. Matthew 9.35 says, Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. The first thing that we notice is that Jesus saw. The crowds were full of people who were confused and helpless, lost like sheep without a shepherd. They were forgotten, hungry, hurt, oppressed, and in need. And Jesus noticed. He didn't trip over them walking by or notice them a year later after passing by. He noticed that people needed help. He saw the evil that was going on. Next, Jesus cared. After he saw, he had compassion. He saw and sympathized for the needs of the hurting. And that's what should happen when we see injustice. Our hearts should be moved. And lastly, Jesus acted. He actually did something about what was going on right in front of him. Not only did he love people, feed them, heal them, forgive them, and set them free, but he also called his followers to do the same. Matthew 9:37 said, he said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. Farming 101 says when you plant and care for a crop, it begins to grow and eventually, the farmer gets to gather all those crops and things that have grown. He gets to harvest those crops. Jesus is saying there is a huge potential in the world, but while the need is huge, the people who are actually seeing, caring, and doing something about it, well, that number is few. So what are we to do to take a step in the right direction? We need to understand that serving starts with seeing. The first step is to see. Serving starts with seeing poverty, need, racism, hurt, and crisis right in front of us. We have to open our eyes and see the evil if we want to do something about it. So ask, God, open my eyes. Next is care. Once we begin to see, we have to care. Our hearts need to break for the injustice happening around us. Most of the time, we're not moved by it because it's become normal to us. So the best place to start is by asking God to help us remember, God, break my heart for what breaks your heart. And lastly, we must do. We have to follow in Jesus' footsteps and actually take a step toward doing something to help right the wrongs in this world. Now, I'm not asking you to step into every injustice in the world and not stop until it's fixed. We can't do it all, but we can do something. We can serve someone. So today, start by simply saying this prayer, God, use me. See, care, do. That's a model that can change the world for Jesus, but it all starts with seeing. So this week, focus on the first step. Focus on seeing. Ask God to help you see people who are being forgotten, bullied, and made to feel worthless. Ask God to open your eyes to the injustice that is right in front of you every day.